want to share with you about the seven weeks, seven days and seven weeks, seven times seven is 49, building up to 50, the day of Pentecost, the day that goes right back to the Abrahamic covenant, way, way back. The number 50, the traditional number 50 in a Jubilee period, it is the it is the new it is the atomic explosive number of tin tin in the hebrew word in the u.s there's 50 states of america hawaii being that 50th to join guys listen to this the word of the lord is about to come and have an explosive impact in every state it's not a mistake it's not a mistake. It was highly intentional. Go jump on the news and you will see what happened yesterday. Outside a church, they had a truckload of Bibles that were intentionally set alight and burnt. There is a violation a coming up against everything that truth stands for. Truth is going to be put on trial. There's an attack on truth in these last days. But hear the word of the Lord. The seven weeks build up from Resurrection Sunday yesterday up until the day of Pentecost, which is coming in seven weeks time, 49 days after Resurrection. We are going to see the Lord turn around and touch and perform a miracle for you personally and for me personally with the greatest revelation that we've ever seen. As I said, you know, there's 50 states, 50 representing the number of... Um, of an atomic number and i'm not saying that not relating that number to anything other than an explosive presence of god coming upon revelation it will be visible even to those who have no sight the lord says i'm about to release a fresh wave of revelation upon the world to see that my glory will rise above every lie that the devil is throwing out we are going to see people hear what i'm going to say we are going to see people sitting in the seat of government manipulating lies drop dead in their seat they will be carried out we've seen this already how leaders of the arabic countries have stood up on their platform declaring curses against israel while they're declaring curses drop dead I'm saying this to you, my brothers and sisters, watch what we're about to see. We're about to see the Lord come and expose roots of unrighteousness. Expose roots of, roots of unrighteousness. This is going to happen in South Africa <coughs> more than ever before. Excuse me. <coughs> we're going to see an explosion of corruption be exposed with a very wormwood and the canker worm that's eaten away at the very foundations and the roots of the country be exposed people will be exposed for who they are standing up against israel cursing israel speaking words of death the lord says i will release my glory i will release my glory my brothers and sisters there's a marriage feast that's about to take place in the years of marriage 50 is the golden anniversary it's the golden anniversary. Nothing tops 50. Oh, 60 comes afterwards. Absolutely, it does. Magnificent. But I'm talking of this 50, 50 weeks build up from resurrection to Pentecost. And there's a culmination taking place of a release of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and the Lord upon his bride, the church, for revelation knowledge to be written down. It is true the half has only been told. The half has only been told, and 50 represents the half of the hundred. And the Lord says, I'm about to release to this half the 50, and to this half the 50. And when you bring them together, you will get a complete picture of the word of the Lord that the Lord is doing. Watch, look up, my brothers and sisters, look up. The moon is 50 times smaller than planet Earth. Watch what's about to happen. We are about to see signs in the sky we are about to see revelations take place that has not been seen before in kabbalah kabbalah is a discipline taught in judaism it says there's 50 gates of wisdom and 50 gates of impurity now i'm saying this absolute fact 
that we are going to see the horns of the unrighteous get broken. It will look like, it will look like they are rising to power. They are coming forward with a one world government. They're coming forward with the manipulation of a one world monetary system. But the Lord says the world system will collapse. Hear this. The world system will collapse. And the governments of this world will become, the kings of this world will become, the nations of this world will become, the nations, the kings, and the governments of our God. The government of the Lord, the government of this world is resting on the shoulders of the priest, the church. My brothers and sisters, God is releasing upon you a resurrection power right now. And you'll say, yeah, but my house is falling apart. My family is falling apart. My finances don't look good. Lift up your head to where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. He is the resurrection, the way, the truth, and the life. I want to read this to you from Luke 24, verses 6 and 7. He is not here. He has been risen. But remember now he told you while he was still in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be executed on a stake as a criminal, but on the third day be raised again. My brothers and sisters, he is raised. Ascension has taken place, we know it, but we're in the process now of, of day one of the seven weeks of Jubilee. And I'm saying this without a shadow of a doubt, we are going to see prophetic fulfillment come to pass like never before. This is the first Sunday that we're coming into. We're coming into the first under and we can see it's all about it's all about our faith. And I want to encourage you right now. I want to show you the seven the, the seven symbolic signs of Christ in every week. And I'll give you the scripture, John 20, 28 and 29. Christ our faith. Christ our faith. You might say, Mark, I'm really feeling low. I'm feeling knocked. Just consider how the disciples felt. When, when they went, when Mary went to the tomb and she saw the tomb was empty and then she heard her voice, Mary. And she turned around and she saw the gardener, but she realized it was Yeshua Hamashiach. She realized, you're going to hear the voice of the Lord calling you, Brian, Marcella, John, Sean, Dion. God's, God's voice is upon you, Amaryllis. You're going to hear the voice of the Lord coming so, so clear. You don't stand in front of an empty tomb anymore. You stand in front of a resurrected Lord. And I believe that we will go from this, this week where revelation knowledge will come to you to the second week, which is John 6, 35. It's Christ, the bread of life. I believe that we are going to have a download, a fresh revelation of the word of the Lord come to us in John 4, 14, third Sunday. Third Sunday, it's Christ, the water of life. On the fourth Sunday, it's Christ, the light of the world, John 12, 46. The fifth Sunday is Christ, the way to life, John 14, verse 6. The sixth Sunday is Christ, the conqueror of the world, John 16, 33. And the seventh Sunday, Pentecost, that we're building up these seven weeks after, after resurrection, builds up to the day of Pentecost as Christ the Comforter, John 15, 26. And we are going to see a fresh release and a manifestation of the Holy Spirit come upon us. I'm saying this to you, my brothers and sisters, please be ready. Be ready for what is about to take place across the world. I speak this over the U.S., that the Lord is realigning. The Lord is realigning. And people are saying, we've got to go back. To, to the words of our fathers, our forefathers, our ancestors, those fathers. No, my brother and sister, we've got to go back to the Father, the Lord God Almighty. Lift up your head. Look up. The word of the Lord is coming upon you now in this season. And this season is going to bring the greatest revelation of miracles that are going to take place. There will be signs in the skies and in the air. There's going to be signs in the land. We are going to be seeing unrighteous leaders be removed from their power but their their own political party will impeach them it won't come from others it'll come from in-house 
unrighteous leaders are going to be removed and the Lord says I'm going to replace those unrighteous leaders with righteous leaders and I'm going to release a fresh breath of air into the lungs of the nations once again I'm saying this to you Korea get ready stand still because you will be one nation the Lord I firmly believe this as the word of the Lord the Lord is going to remove that barbed wire fence the Lord is going to remove the north and the south there will be one national anthem there will be one national flag there will be two national cities Pyongyang and Seoul South Korea will be both capital cities in, in Korea Korea will be one nation they will not stand divided they will stand united I believe this to be the word of the Lord we will see that penal colony Australia turn and become a house of freedom it'll be known as the house of David it'll become a house of worship the people which were antagonistic and and not wanting they were aggro towards God the Lord says I will bring a release and a freedom upon Australia New Zealand will stand up as a horn of righteousness I say that the Philippines and and the islands going up they will stand as fire lighting burning islands for the Lord Jesus Christ we are going to see breakthrough take place in the South Americas I speak way down from from Tierra del Fuego at the very tip of South America we are going to see the Lord release a fire in that place we are going to see kingpins and lordpins of drugs drug lords financial lords we're going to see these guys come crippled to their knees because the Lord says I'm about and they are going to be shaking in their boots there is a season coming now and I firmly believe this is a yay season this is a yay season this is we, we are coming into a into the crash of 2025 not a crash and a derogative but the crash of the sound of thunder 2025 is going to be the year called yay it's going to be the year of splendor it's going to be the year when the glory of the Lord rests heavy upon the church and I speak this to you as a word of life that we are going to rise up, that the presence of God is going to come upon you, that these seven weeks of build up from now, from Resurrection Sunday, yesterday, until the day of Pentecost, these 49 days in between, there's going to be a release of the favor of God upon us. And we are going to have a download of heaven. There is going to be greater release than ever before. And I believe Pentecost, or Su Pentecost Sunday is going to be a day of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit like we have not been seen before so my brothers and sisters i bless you let's let's get our hearts ready let's not get despondent let's not look around us and say woe is me things are too bad the lord says children are birthed through pain silver is purified through fire seven times hotter than before to make it even more purified and the devil knows his time is running out he knows his time is running out and the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and I speak this over you right now rise up mighty woman of God rise up mighty man of God because this is your day to take back the territory that the enemy has thrown against you I bless you bless you bless you thank you for jumping on thank you for joining um, I want to encourage you in in the month of April and May we starting coming this Saturday we're starting an eight-week intensive prophetic course there's no charge please jump on send me a text message and I will send you some information how to get onto that link get onto Amazon get the book School of Prophets training you will be blessed and I love you God bless you have an awesome wonderful week and especially hey Amaryllis thank you for that have a blessed week to you too God bless. Thank you for jumping on, Sarah, Sean, Ong Young Seo, Wendy. Love you guys. God bless.